Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, I just bought a jacket through Amazon because the reviews were so good. 164 reviews and four and a half stars. Just from reading all the reviews, I knew I wouldn't regret my purchase. Now, don't you wish all the dating apps had review system <laughs> on each person from the people who actually went to date with, <laughs> right? We can avoid so many awkward first dates. <laughs> like, Brandon Wong, three and a half stars. <laughs> Less Chinese than I expected. <laughs> Once in a while acts awkward, but totally acceptable. <laughs> James Howard, two stars. Bummer. <laughs> Super cute, but alcohol problem with mummy issues. <laughs> Oh, Papa John's, <laughs> surprising five stars. <laughs> Cheesy, kind of doughy, but man, his Italian sausage is delicious. <laughs> um, <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. <laughs> it's February already. Did you start anything new this year? No? Okay. <laughs> well, I started three new things. Tap dancing, cooking, and stop considering the feelings of others. <laughs> when then obviously don't care about mine. Well, I started tap dancing because I wanted to acquire the elegance like Shirley Temple. <laughs> it might improve my comedy timing. <laughs> and also, I hate my neighbor downstairs. <laughs> he doesn't care about my feelings. Um, I started cooking because I started dating a white boy. <laughs> now, you have to adjust your attitude a little bit. If you are a Japanese woman from Japan and dating a white guy for the very first time, you have to speak louder. <laughs> so that you'll be heard properly. <laughs> and you have to learn to say no, straightforward, when you find yourself in an uncomfortable situation. <laughs> and when your boyfriend is snoring, like a sea lion, <laughs> because he had a little bit too much to drink, and you have to wake up 6 a.m. in the morning you have to be a little assertive <laughs> and break his nose. <laughs> Guys, I'm just joking. <laughs> I love my boyfriend. <laughs> I will gently place the pillow over his face. and hold it firmly till the snoring stops. <laughs> um, my landlord replaced the fire alarm of my unit recently, and it's new and sensitive. And last night I took shower, and as soon as I opened the door, 
the alarm reacted to the steam and went beep, 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 beep. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and I took off my bath towel and found the alarm like this, <laughs> naked. <laughs> And my boyfriend was like, oh, hello. <laughs> Because, you know, my tits are like jumping up and down and up and down like crazy. <laughs> I wish. He was just being nice. <laughs> But we've been dating a while now, and it seems like I have managed to install an imaginary alarm in his brain because I can clearly see the alarm goes on when I ask questions like, How much did you drink last night? <laughs> Do you have any romantic plan for us on Valentine's Day? <laughs> Why, you are not investing in bitcoins anymore, are you? <laughs> When I ask these questions, he looks like he just walked into an electric fence. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like minor seizure with eye twitching. I'm like, oh dear, calm down, baby. I love you. I don't care how much you drank last night. I don't care if we are eating at Papa John's on Valentine's Day. But stop blowing your money on that imaginary shit coins, you idiot.